In about 2018, um, Nature.com reported this. Last year, or late last year, five editorial board members resigned from the journal Dyslexia to protest the publication of an article on the effects of a treatment marketed as a cure for dyslexia by a private company. This probably comes from um, uh, an article in, in todaysparent.com and, and I suppose a lot of people had heard about this, which said scientists may have found a cause and a cure for dyslexia. Um, it may or may not have done. But what we do know is looking through various official um, uh, web pages. For instance, this one is from um, betterhealth.vic.gov.au, so the Victorian government's health website in Australia. You see things like, there is no cure for dyslexia, but the person can benefit from specialised support, which could include tutoring, phonics-based reading programme, etc, etc, etc. You'll also see, having a child diagnosed with dyslexia can be a traumatic experience. Um, there is no cure for dyslexia. Individuals with this condition must learn coping strategies from the International Dyslexia Association website. Dr. Freeman in Everyday Health says, unfortunately, there's no cure for dyslexia. Dyslexia Connect says that since dys dyslexia is genetic and it is not simply a learning difficulty caused by bad reading habits or a lack of knowledge, it is not something that can simply be cured. Um, however, even though there is no cure for dyslexia, there are tremendously effective ways of treating it. On track reading um, doubles down on this. In all such cases, however, a genetic tendency is likely to be present and is able to be passed on. In that sense, especially, dyslexia cannot be cured and a dyslexic parent needs to be aware of the likelihood that some of his or her children will probably share the genetic predisposition to dyslexia. Then it talks about a potential dietary cure for dyslexia, which is a bit of an odd thing to talk about. RFWP.com, some website, says while there is no cure for dyslexia, there are various treatments and strategies that can help dyslexic individuals overcome their challenges and thrive. And the Dyslexia Font website, dyslexiafont.com, asks can dyslexia be cured? and answers it by saying children with dyslexia benefit greatly from effective intervention. It isn't, however, a cure. Dyslexia is a lifelong disorder. Similarly, the Mayo Clinic says that there is no cure for dyslexia. It says, uh, though there's no cure for dyslexia, early assessment and intervention result in the best outcome. Sonic Learning says, despite what some may believe, there is no cure for dyslexia. BigThink.com says dyslexia is a frustrating condition that affects up to 10% of the world's population. Although there are 3 million reported cases each year, up to 7% of school children have persistent difficulty learning how to read, there's no known cure. Some research even suggests that up to 17% of the population could suffer from mild symptoms. NM.org says dyslexia is a lifelong condition with no simple cure like pills, muscle exercises or special glasses, yet people with dyslexia can overcome many of the symptoms with lessons, practice and patience. And finally, on track reading says as to whether vision therapy offers a cure for dyslexia, I have seen children undergo vision therapy and then easily pick up my phonics instruction. <sighs> um, you see, the point is, when we talk about dyslexia as being symptomatic, of having symptoms for dyslexia, when we say that there is or is not a cure for dyslexia, what we're doing is we're pathologizing it. We're pathologizing dyslexia. We're pa pathologizing dyslexics. We're medicalizing us, saying there's something wrong with us. I don't need to be cured. I'm not of my dyslexia anyway. And when we try talking about dyslexia as though there is no cure, we're telling kids that there's something about them that we wish we could cure, or that could be cured. There's research that shows that when we do this, the academic and professional and mental health outcomes of the people we label are lower. There's, there's research that shows that when we talk about dyslexia as needing a cure, or as having or not having a cure, we're actually hurting the kids. We're telling. 
And so what we need to do is we need to stop pathologizing dyslexia. We need to stop talking about it as whether there's a cure or not. And we need to start listening to individuals and listening to their stories and saying, well, okay, how can we be inclusive? How can we include you? How can we include your needs? So it's not about curing what you have. It's about reframing our perceptions of you. Because it's this reframing of our perceptions of people that's the key to inclusiveness. That's the key to inclusion. It's not about trying to cure people. And as long as we say that there is no cure for dyslexia, we are actually harming dyslexic kids. If you want to know more, write to me. But please share this video. It's incredibly important. Thank you.